Well, now on four for the next hour and a half or so, settle back in company with Mick Luckhurst for live American football. Tonight, it's a battle of the airways as the Miami Dolphins play host to the reigning AFC East champion, Buffalo Bills. At quarterback for them, it's Jim Kelly. He's often controversial, but normally effective. If he can click both on and off the field with his teammates, the Bills could certainly be the team to chase in the AFC this year. For the Dolphins, there's no question as to who they turn to for leadership. Top gun, Dan Marino, the fastest release in the East. Combine him with Sammy Smith's league-leading 159 yards rushing last week, and a lot of people are saying that 1990 could be the year of the Dolphin. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the second week of live coverage from the 1990 NFL season. In tonight's program, we'll be going live to Miami for the climax of our main game, and Gary will have updates on the rest of today's matches, and he'll also have news from around the league. But first, I'd like to introduce my studio guest. He was the first player selected in the 1975 NFL Draft, and as a pure passer of the ball, he may well be the best ever. And when you think of the Hail Mary play, it's his name that comes to mind. Steve Barkowski, welcome. Thanks, Mick. It's great to be here with you. That's some great memories, watching those plays, Alfred Jenkins, Wallace Francis, teammates of both of us. It seemed like at any time we could throw that pass and maybe win a game. Is that true? <laughs> well, we got ourselves into, those, uh, into that situation an awful lot. And uh, as an athlete, you like that. You like to have it on you that with the game kind of hanging in the balance as to what you do on that last drive. And we were successful a great deal of the time. It seemed like we had to score points. And as we look at our main game today, Miami Dolphins come to mind. Dan Marino, his defense gives up points. He's always had to score points in the, in the past. Is that going to be true again today, do you think? Well, really, for the previous seven years Dan's been in the league, they've had a, a very prolific offense, probably the pass offense of the 1980s. Never had a defense to go with that. I think things are changing down in Miami. They're looking like they're playing some good, solid defense, and I think they'll give the Bills all they can stand here today. We're going to the game. What do you think is going to happen? Buffalo, strong team, Miami, hoping to be strong. Well, Buffalo, I think the consensus is that they might have the best group of individuals that there is in the National, Fo National Football League, insofar as talent-wise. Uh, but to really come together as a team and be able to win the big game uh, is always kind of the question about the Buffalo Bills. The Dolphins are on the rise. They've put together a solid defense, and everybody knows they can score. Sammy Smith, the addition of him, has taken some pressure off of Dan Marino. I think I agree with you. They, Buffalo does have a strong group of men, but they don't play together. And I think that puts a question mark on Jim Kelly, the quarterback for them. But now we're going to take a look at the first half and see what happened. And we start on Buffalo's first drive. They had a big decision to make on a fourth down and one. They didn't make it. And that meant that the Dolphins took over. We pick up the game on their first drive. It's at the Bills 45. It's a first down and 10. Farrell Edmonds with a reception, fumbling it, the loose ball, a scramble inside the 40. Did Buffalo come up with it? No, right back to Miami. A break early for the Dolphins. Second and short now for the Dolphins, second and two. The ball at the Buffalo 37. It's Tony Page banging his way near the first down marker. And I believe he's got it. Yes, inside the 35 to the 33, tripped up by Carlton Bailey. First and 10 Dolphins, 33 of the Bills on their first series of the afternoon. 4.55 left in the first quarter. Sammy Smith out of the backfield with the reception inside the 25. 
Just short of the first down by less than a yard. Brought down by Odoms and Conlon. Second and less than a yard. Tony Page has the first down to the 22-yard line. An impressive start for the Dolphins offensively as Page goes in motion. It's first and 10 at the 22. Sammy Smith breaking the first tackle at the line of scrimmage from Carlton Bailey. And getting just about four. Good effort by Smith. Darrell Talley finally made the hit. Now we've been talking about Tony Page. Get a look at Tony Page here going in motion and leading for Sammy Smith. Tony, here comes Tony Page in motion. Now watch this block. Gets his head inside. Nice block on. And that, that's all you need. If you can get a block there and, and have a stalemate there, that gives your running back a chance to get up inside that block. Tony Page can do it all. That's why they call him total back. Second and six. Ball at the 18-yard line. Play action for Dan Marino. Bennett in hot pursuit. And very dangerously close to an interception. Jim Jensen in the back deal with Dan Marino. Six defensive backs in there now. A dime package for the Buffalo Bills on third and six from the 18. Jensen's got it, and Jensen's got the first down. Went up against the rookie from Fresno State, James Williams. And it's just outside the 10-yard line. Jim Jensen is a football player. If you have to describe this guy, he can do everything. I asked him, he just got to camp. I asked him yesterday what he played. He said, that's why I'm here. Watch this catch and the run. He puts his shoulder down and just runs over James Williams. First and 10. Marino going up top to Page. 